Andrei Motil was born in 1956 in Western Carpathian Mountains in former Czechoslovakia. He currently lives in Switzerland and he's the author of a new book entitled Futile Motility. Hi, Andre. Thank you very much for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. Aluk is a young Kurdish woman who gets adopted by a childless European academic couple after a common climb to the summit of the biblical mountain Ararat. She follows her new parents to Crashville, where she starts low studies. She is intrigued by the idea that human's destiny is to permanently desire more, that is a blessing and a curse at the same time. Andre, what was the inspiration behind the plot of your book? The book is sort of a resume of many, many encounters and many observations I've done in my life as diplomat or a delegate with the Red Cross. Uh, if you would ask me how I came up with the figure, Alu, it's basically a reaction to the outrageous ig ignorance of Europe about the world. Now, when I've seen the Kurdish women fighting ISIS in Syria, and our European armies spent billions on forces, uniforms, you know, of nice whip and Kurdish women fighting, I just was ashamed. You know, I, I think we, we forgot to be ashamed in Europe. We don't turn red anymore. So that was somehow the, you know, there was, you know, you have this expression, angry young man, no? Well, I would say I'm an angry old man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a very interesting theme you deal with in your novel, which is this insatiable human desire to have more. Um, I want to ask you, what's your point of view in this regard? Um, do you think we should always be pursuing the next goal, or maybe we should settle and be content with what we already have? No. we. We will always, it's the DNA, we cannot change the DNA. We will always strive for better. But, you know, better is, is it to have a bigger car? Or discover the beauty around us. You know, I, I watched recently again scenes of us landing, us, the humans landing on the moon. And then you see the planet, this little thing there in this black immensity, and we don't, we don't seem to appreciate it. So, to desire more, yes, absolutely, we want, we are humans, we cannot live, and that's why we are humans, otherwise we would be still you know, in, some, in some climate group collecting fruits. So, absolutely, we have to desire more, but the question is, what do we desire? And there we have to, you know, there we need people who think and influences who don't make us feel that we need a, you know, an expensive car. You know, with a, with, you know, with four liters motor, but we need something. Mobility is, yes, but a different type. Of, so absolutely, we have to strive for more. But the question is, what is you know, what is Nirvana? Yeah, right. I totally agree. Um, your novel also shows us a wonderful encounter between different cultures throughout a Luke story. And she was also adopted, uh, as we said before. So could we say that your book supports a sort, of, a sort of multicultural inclusion? Why is that so important to you? Look, I, I, I wrote recently to, to my authorities in Bern in some bureaucratic affair. I have moved I think, to 15 countries in my life. I worked, I lived my life in 15 countries. And I worked there, not vacation, I worked there. And I came to the conclusion that whatever people pretend, we strive for the same thing. We want, again, the desire to desire is humanly respected. Respected because we have a Maserati or a BMW, or respected because we do other things. So the question is, 
you know, respect when, the other in general. I perceive that you know when I meet when I met the Hamas leader in Gaza, he had an ideology and he was preaching. But when he talked to his son, I could tell he's like this is my son. Although he then accepted his son to fight and die, you know, in, in his struggle, we are the same, for heaven's sake. We all want to be respected in, you know, in our environment. We want to have certain things which make us being respected in the environment. You know, vanity is, you know, the key element, and we, it's a key element of human being, and we, we sort of try to hide it, but we are vain, so, so we want to be respected, so... The Islamists, they want to be respected, you know. <laughs> the leftists, they want to have leading roles because they want to lead us to nirvana. We simply, I think, what, what we would need is to agree on some 10 commandments or 20 commandments, you know. A little bit back, realized that 2,000 years ago, people asked themselves partly the same questions. And we pretend to invent, and we invent always new utopia, and then we fight about them instead of learning from that and say, hey, there is plenty, but let's agree. That's a great message you have in your book. Thank you, Andre, for satisfying our curiosity today. Futile Motility, Andre Motil's brand new novel, published by Eurobox, is now available in bookstores and online on the main digital platforms. <laughs>